<laughs> so that's the fruit, and you're the public. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay. Well, so we just, we just want to talk to the We have a, I think we have a, right. We're going to go off the chin of the map down Larissa and go down across Descanso. There's some amazing trees on, the, on Larissa and at the corner of Descanso. Up Descanso, which is sort of famous for being a broken street with a, a tree we'll talk about. Down the piano box stairs where um, Laurel and Hardy did their famous scene. We will cut down the next street to an amazing lemon and peach tree in the center islands where that's been planted by the residents. Cut the corner to a very giving uh, grapefruit and lemon tree uh, down Robinson Street for some kumquats and loquats. Around the corner to um, more amazing fruit trees and bananas. Around to the best avocados you ever have in your life, but it's the wrong season. Um, and then we're going to end on a bunch of low quad trees. And on the way, we're going to point out everything that isn't ripe yet. So they'll be ripe. We'll talk about what seasons, yada, yada, yada. The issues of picking. Hopefully, we'll meet some people we don't know. Have a good time. Ask lots of questions. I don't think we've had a group this big. So um, no. there's three of us you can ask questions about. I'm sure other people yep. here are experts, too. This is too. David right here. Oh, thanks. This is Austin. <laughs> and I'm Matias. Thank you for coming. Right. We're really happy to see you. We, we pre-picked some oranges. They're amazing. They're just not on the tour, and I thought we should share. So please feel free to take some. I have um, grocery bags, and we'll probably see if we can, what is it, borrow a shopping cart from the 99 cent store, and I'll bring it back later. All right, let's go. Hey, can I ask you guys a question? Yeah. Is this your first fruit forage? How'd you find out about it? Through the Machine Projects email yes. list. Oh, do you go to their events a lot? Yes. Cool, are you excited? I'm super excited. Have you ever picked eating. a legal fruit before? Or legal well, fruit? Well, it's legal fruit. Is it? How yeah. does it work? Um, I just know that um, any part of the tree that's hanging on to, like hanging over a sidewalk or any other public property is fair game. So it's like oh. legal stealing. As far as I know. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right. All right. Okay. 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 Uh, the, this is obviously some kind of citrus. It, it's probably a sour lemon uh, orange. It's hard to tell. Um, this is certainly in the category like these five over here are in the category of what we call public fruit. The rest are not. Um, and um, again, if it were easy to access the the, uh, the the front door, we would ask. But I'm just gonna um, show you how it's done. Look at all these people! It's like the, it's like the war protest. <laughs> this above me and all along the street is a carob tree. It's also called St. John's bread. Carob are beans. Actually, they're, it's in the bean family. Um, and you, they make these long pods and it's technically a fruit because you're eating, you're not eating the seed um, on the carob. You're eating the what's outside the seeds, which which is if you've ever had it, some people call it hippie chocolate. It's a, it uses a chocolate substitute. It, it's actually very nutritious. It, it's from the Mediterranean. It grows all over the Mediterranean. Very few peoples. Oh, here's here's a carob pod. All right, and it's it's not ripe yet. It's green, but um, and the seeds are taken out. Um, and all the all the meat, so to speak, is is around it. Some people really dislike carob. It's never been, it, it's interesting because it's never been a primary food source for any of the people who lived where it grew, but it's always been an emergency food source. So, you know, if the end times come, you know where the carob trees are. Huge figs, so they look like a tree, and um, a lovepot tree, and guava. Uh, here, obviously, this is a fig, right? Um, also, a few people have been asking about the fruit pickers. Um, this one is from Home Depot. 
Uh, lots of people make their own. You can you can make it with a with a, a tin can on a stick. There's a lot of uh, varieties, ways of making these. But as you can see, a lot of the stuff, what does exist at, at human level gets picked immediately. So more or less, you kind of have to have a picker. And it's a, you saw it work once already. It's a really well-designed, you know, sort of simple device. <laughs> We, we, we just want to know if we, where you guys are at as far as walking. Are we wearing you out? No. Are you guys happy to go? We, what the plan is to go about three blocks east, and then we, we head back. So we're more than the halfway point. I just want to check in yeah. if you guys are cool with that. Hi. Hello. I'm having a fruity time. How about you? Ha ha ha!